we are. We're about to go into Forbidden Planet. I've not been in for ages. I'm really excited. Let's go. Okay, here we are. So we're, we are in Forbidden Planet. I've been itching to go to this shop for over a year and a half because of, of lockdown and various other reasons. But I'm here now. I'm really excited. We're going to have a look around at all this stuff. All right, we're starting off with the Dragon Ball. So they've got various merchandise here. They've got the pins. Mugs and baseball caps. This year I'm not familiar. Now the pop stars are really, really popular. Yeah, all this type of stuff is really popular. I don't understand why. Yeah, I know Kelly's not really into these. Uh, to be honest, I don't really go with the pop stars ones, but they've got quite a few here, which they got in stock. Now I'm gonna go look around. It is very busy in here, yeah, even though it's, so it's busy. even though it's social distance so we we're gonna try to queue outside for a while before we could even come in but yeah exactly crazy. all right so power rangers for various dolls transformers oh look at that you've got is that megatron bumblebee don't that's jazz Bumblebee, Starscream. Oh, I know they've got the larger series as well. What have you got? And Back to the Future. Oh, oh Back to the Future here. I'm going to slip round because this is my thing. This is my jam. Back to the Future. Oh, that a bottle opener. Yeah, I know. I'm the thinking. Pin. I think we should get this. Yeah, let's get that. Let's Grab get that. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. I'm getting that. Back to the Future keyring. Well, that's Predator. Oh, yeah, it's actually got the Predator scenes. And it's limited edition. Yeah. I'll is that, what is it, a badge or a, it's a pin? It's a pin. I think. Oh, I'm going to have to get some of these. So I'm going to spend a lot of money here. Yeah. Get to the chopper. There we are. You can see that. That's another pin. Oh, it's a limited edition coin. Oh, they've got Goonies. Yeah. Never say that. And this is a pin as well. $6.99. Lots of Gremlins. So this is the Gremlins t shirt. I might pick up that. Uh, Which one do you want? The, the Goonies. Goonies. All right, we're going to get that. So we're going for a, got a focus. The Goonies never say die. What we'll do, we'll pick up a few things and show you on sale afterwards. Yes, it's we will. gonna be amazing. We're not gonna get loads though. I just had a quick glimpse of the t-shirts. They got it. Friday the 13th. Blue steel. And I love this Stranger Things one as well. I think this is actually a hoodie. But this looks amazing. I'm tempted to get I'm gonna spend so much money in here. So one of the things you always find at Forbidden Planet are all the miniatures. And they've got loads of these figurines. These are the original Dungeons and Dragons characters you can yeah. see there. Uni, Bobby, there's Presto. And you've got Diana, Hank the Ranger, which is just at the top there. And I love all these ones as well. So they've got uh, Planet of the Apes, and they've got Hellboy, Freddy. They've got Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, the Dark Crystal set. There was a Thundercats one there. Nightmare Ish. Before Christmas. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So yeah, just give an idea. It's £169 there if you want your uh, Jack Skellington. And then there's the Gambling Ghoul. Oh, Lilo and Stitch. That large one there. Coming in at £99. And you've got some like, you know, Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah, the Freddy Krueger one was really good actually. I quite like that one. I did like the alien one at the back as well. And the Kingsman as well, which I thought was quite good. Oh yeah, I didn't see that one. Yeah. I was looking at this one because you've got like... You've got the It. And you've got John Wick. Oh, the John Wick. I didn't spot the John Wick. And his dog. Yeah. Well, I'm tempted to get that. Oh, yeah. Let me just zoom into John. And there's his dog, obviously from John Wick 2. There you go. We've also got the Avengers set here, which is really good. So as you can see there, we've got... These are from the end game as well, Captain Marvel. We've got Thanos. We've got Iron Man. And of course the Hulk, which is kind of the part banner, part Hulk, as you can see there. And that's 189 pounds. Well, 149. Reduced down. What a bargain. 150. And I love this Aquaman as well. This Aquaman is excellent. Look at that. 239 pounds now. An absolute steal. They've also got quite a few of the other Batman figures as well. These are from the Dark Knight Returns. So you've got Batman on the horse. 
And then versus Killer Croc though, she can just about make Killer Croc just below there. That is so good. So Kelly has found her little favourite section of Harry Potter. What have you got here? Well, these are pins. I've got like the uh, school banner um, hanging up in the living room and it's full of little pins. So I like to keep a lookout and then I, put, I add this to my collection. So they've got a few here that are quite nice. But normally I like the movable ones, but I don't have this one. Oh, yeah. So I picked up that one. Um, I do like the look of this one, but I believe I've got a bigger one, oh, a bigger snitch. version. Is that the snitch? The, the golden snitch, yeah. But I do like these ones, these key rings as well. Yeah. They've got some really nice ones, all the sliver, and they are on sale. So Only a couple of them though. So like the Hufflepuff one and the Ravenclaw one are on sale. Um, it looks like the Gryffindor one is on sale as well. Yeah, six ninety nine. What are these? Are they I bookmarks? Think these are bookmarks, you know. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And, and I have been looking for a bookmark. Yeah, a crest bookmark. There you go. So you might actually go and take that. Yeah. Uh, just while you're here, we have got some chocolate ones as well. Every flavour bean, as you can see here, at £10. And they've got the ones. And also, as well, is that the chocolate frog? I think it is. Yeah, look, chocolate frog. 14 99 now this is one thing I did just spot. I used to love Beetlejuice as a kid. They've got these Beetlejuice t-shirts there as you can see. Let me just zoom in. And these are on sale. So it was £14.99, now £9.99. £10. And the Beetlejuice hoodie. That's what it looks like. And look at this as well. You've also got your, your travel cold pass holder, the Beetlejuice. I didn't know what this was. Oh, it's a tea towel. Beetlejuice tea towel. I might have to get this as well. But that is awesome. They've also got some Nightmare Before Christmas mugs, which I quite like. Now, I've got loads of mugs. I shouldn't get any more. But I'm so tempted, especially the Beetlejuice mug, which is 8 99 yeah. So, one what? of these to go with our collection of funky pillows that we have. I do sofa. like that. Look at that, the chocolate frog. This is so cool. It actually goes on top like that. Yeah, it just sits because it's the chocolate frog. So, it just sits on top. And I just oh. think this is so cute, it's so amazing. Purchase! Oh. We go. Now, I did say we would spend a lot of money in here and it looks like it's going to be, but yeah, we've got to get it. So, £27. £27. It's expensive. Yeah. But it will look nice. It will look nice. And plus here, um, in, in England, everything's included, so you don't have to add any VAT on top. That's just seven, uh, £27 or £26.99 complete, so that will be the price. Yeah, so for future lives, you're going to see that on our sofa. Mm. So if you're into your superhero merchandise, this is it. These are all the t-shirts. You've got the Batman, the Wayne, Bruce Wayne Enterprises, Superman, Wonder Woman, the Nightwing logo, which is just there. Nightfall. Plenty wrong with me. Killing Joke, and I'd really like this t-shirt actually if that was zoom into it. That's the Batman Killing Joke t-shirt. The Rune Skull. And that's the Brian Bollard Joker, so of course that's the one with the laughing uh, from the Killing Joke cartoon. Or no, sorry, that's the one from the Killing Joke novel. Star Laboratories. There we go, I'm trying to get as many in. It is getting quite busy in here, so I'm trying to move on. So for the, the Whovians amongst you, this is the Doctor Who section. It used to be the other end of the shop. So you've got the Doctor Who uh, Masterpiece Collection, David Tennant. Now I don't know this very well. Uh, is it? I don't know Doctor Who at all. I remember the Daleks though. I do remember the Daleks. Graham O'Brien, the new Doctor Who, 13. And various marks. You can see they're all 6 to 7.99. There you go. And they've got the sort of pop art type ones, as you can see there. And right at the bottom, I just nearly missed these, are the TARDISes. $17.99. There you go. So here, we've got some, you know, Harry Potter memorabilia. You know, you've got Dobby, 
Hedwig. Hedwig's on sale. How much is Hedwig on sale for? $29.99. So I wonder what she was before. It was $39.99. Now $29.99. There you go. The Monster Book of Monsters. Nice little plush there. On sale, $39.99 was $49.99. Got some of these pops again. And you've got the Crimes of Grindelwald. You've got the little niffler. We've got the young Albus Dumbledore. Okay, so these are all in the sale. So, um, Albus Dumbledore was £119, which is now £99.99. Then you have Gellert Grindelwald. And again, in the sale was $124.99 now $99.99 so they've got a few things here and you've got Newt Scamander in the sale let's zoom in $124.99 now $99.99 I just had a look at this here comes Mark, he's just showing again the Monster so, Book of Monsters. Oh, you've just shown this, actually? Yes, I just yes. spotted it and I just thought that looked so good. Well, that's where I picked up the frog and it was the last one. It's the last frog. So, so I think we'll get both. So no, I think, we'll probably get one. I it, think that is 40 pounds. Yeah, and that's in the sale. And that's in the sale. Yeah. So there's quite a few things. Believe it or not, the thing about this shop is that it's always so packed but of course because we're in this climate they've let in a few people at a time so you can actually get round the shelves and see things these are all the He-Man stuff for any of those of you that remember you'll be showing your age if you do but um, before to try and get around this store was crazy because um, there'd be so many people around obviously looking at the product and you can't actually look at the product. That's all the noise of the um, people that work here, the staff. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to be able to get around and actually show you guys. You know, if you're interested in this sort of thing, this is very much Mark. There's a couple of things that I'll always find, don't get me wrong. But when we go to places like Disney and you go to Islands of Adventure and they sell all of this types of things, all of these types of memorabilia, Mark really really loves this type of thing so if you're ever in London and this is the sort of thing that you like to sort of see um, this is at the Forbidden Planet like I said there was a queue to get in but now that we're in you can you can take a look at the products. See, so if you're into your horror or anything like that, you've got them right here. Mark has found something over here. What have you found? Oh, the he's one. found the car, the Ecto One. So. £45? Pounds. £45 pounds it's not bad. It's not bad, but I think I haven't got, we haven't got the space, but I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as anybody knows, I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, so that for me 
but there you go, 45 quid, and that's what it looks like, that's the internal bar. The little seat that comes around the side, the traction, so there you go. There you go, okay. So they've got all these little things here. Oh, they've got some friend stuff. Some decals there. Some pins there. We were on a break. Bath bar. Key ring. Magnet. Tea towel. Headwear, coasters, just all different types of things really. But um, when I buy something, I like it to be a little bit interesting, like a funny shape or an oversized mug, something like that. I did contemplate on getting this though. I don't know if I got it in the end or whether I got the Harry Potter one. But I did contemplate on getting a planner. Got all the helmets here from Star Wars. So if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, again there are this one um, is £120. This one is £105, £99, £99. I'm only rounding up. You got all Star Wars memorabilia here. I've got my mask on, I'm just finding it a little bit difficult to breathe. I'm like, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, we've got some Lord of the Rings stuff Pirates of the Caribbean, Spawn, June. Just like loads of sort of different, you know, memorabilia. They got, look here, Wild Stallions, Bill and Ted, 40 pounds. More Star Wars, Baby Yoda there. Yoda mask there. <laughs> Mugs. So I've just come down the stairs and into the graphic novel section and there are loads. You really don't get a grasp of how big this place is until you come downstairs. It's like a library as you can see. So I won't go through all the graphic novels with you, but as you can see, there are many, 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 and it just goes rows and rows and rows. So if you are looking for a graphic novel from Forbidden Planet, there are, like I said, look at it, it's just like a library. There are many, many, many here. They also do, um, like I say, they do, um, they also do cookbooks. Uh, they also do the, this is where I'm looking to get some as well from cookbooks from, uh, my future videos they also here do uh, novels as well and also as well they do art sections as well so you know you get pictures on how artists do art and what had you so really good worth coming here i'm talking quietly because it's like a library it does feel like a library so merchandise upstairs books downstairs there you go there you have it and talking to cookbooks, look at that. I spent 20 pounds on Amazon for the Walking Dead official uh, cookbook. It's five pounds here in Forbidden Planet. So there you are. If you're looking for a bargain, there is one. They have got a good sell section here. Art of Harry Potter, Supernatural, Firefly Encyclopedia. There's a lot here. So you get some good, good deals if you're looking 
for a bargain and there's a general kind of general sale right across the shop I haven't noticed quite a lot of the merchandise is is on sale not all but quite a bit is on sale so if you're looking for a good bargain there you go the sale price <gasps> cannot believe that but it's not just for novels look we've also got board games I was really intrigued by this one the aliens one another glorious day in the core if you have a look around as well so it's quite an in-depth board game if you can see that there but that one looks quite good different characters with the aliens here we go outer rim star wars sorcerers tickets right they've even got some monopoly versions here you've got monopoly and jurassic park there you go so if you're a fan of board games you can also get them here directly from forbidden planet okay i finally found it so the cookbook section you've got the friends one which you've seen we've got heroes of the feast that's dungeon and dragons they have got a disney one here and the destiny one i've seen this one before and i was intrigued so i'll have a quick look at that We've got the Star Wars one, Galaxy Edge, and a few other ones as well. Wookiee's Cookies Cookbook would look quite good, and the Wookiee's Cookies Cookbook too. They've also got this one, which is quite interesting, which is actually uh, handmade sandwiches. And you've got a cutter from the Millennium Falcon and Chewbacca, so that was quite interesting. Uh, there we are. I'll put that back in a moment. Uh, recipes from Tolkien obviously Lord of the Rings thing so there's quite a few here I'm gonna have a little look through and see if there's one I like now if you are struck for cash they do do this thing where they will sell at a discount those items that have been damaged so you can if you want to so if you've got especially for larger items like this the huge Batman sold as seen damaged found, but it is reduced so you do have that option there, and that's what I do like about Forbidden Planet. You've got some really good stuff here. Especially this Star Trek. Look at that. So it says, light on display dish not working. So it will tell you what's wrong. So if you want to buy a reduced piece, pieces broken off, for example, on the Hobgoblin, you can do there. Scratched cape, £69 for Batman. There you go. So yesterday, where were we? We went into central London, didn't we? And where we did. did. And where did we go? Uh, we went to a few places. So if you see us doing all our outros in the same clothes, it's because we didn't have time to do outros at the time when we did the video. So please forgive us. And we're doing the outros now. We are. And we're going to blitz through them. <laughs> this is one of them. Um, so we went to London and we did a few things and one of the things that we did we went to Forbidden Planet yeah we did I, I, didn't you have a good time I did we've not been in such a long time as you were saying in the video so this we did do a few purchases we did go a few a bit mad but we did want to show you our purchases we wanted to show you our Forbidden Planet haul mm, here we go so we I'm go. gonna sneak off grab our first little one <gasps> What have we got in our little bag of goodies? Do you want to show them the side of the bag? Oh yeah. Right, I'm off camera. I'm back in camera. That's what I bought from Forbidden Planet. Right. <laughs> they actually had to give us a large bag uh, to do. So I've got to get yeah. make sure I get the right things in here. Let's start with... Oh yeah, can I start with this? Yes, yes, go ahead. So I bought this. This, sorry Kelly is my alien this is actually the artwork from prometheus so for for those of you who've not seen the film prometheus the ridley scott film based upon the alien uh movies and this is actually the artwork i've not even opened it it's still in the seal but i'm going to open it for you because i wanted to show you what was it originally priced at oh yeah that? before i do that so that, what what wasn't just the price that appealed normally i don't buy the artwork books i do love art and i do love looking at the art books but i they're always really expensive this was originally 30 pounds 29.99 reduced down to 2.99 wow that's a massive massive thing so it's actually 90 percent reduction exactly right okay so let me just open that this is you're seeing this now for the first time i'm actually breaking the seal there we go And what I loved about this book, they actually, I obviously, I, they had a display copy on there. So I was mm. able to do that. Let me just come in a bit closer. Uh, yeah, and it's just 
all the artwork look wow from the movie so i'm just going to show hold you hold it up and then i'll help you yeah can you have, have a look at that because you can see that these are just artwork stills models if you can see that as well so you can see the original concept for the uh the alien the xenomorph and it's really nice little book as i was just flicking through i thought i've got to get this as well i had i had seen this before in the forbidden planet but of course at full price at uh, 30 quid i thought it's nice if you show them the back as oh, well yeah. there's some interesting so you've got the concept designs there as well so you've got the obviously the original alien concept design the idea for the uh, ship as well for the prometheus ship um and also for the crew but what i did like in here what was i going to show as well <clears throat> it actually has got pictures from the uh, set design itself so as you can see there there's them around the crew uh, what else did i want to show you the artwork as well is so good it's sometimes you just think to yourself it's very difficult to distinguish what's actually real yeah and what's art so that's artwork as well them the con original concept of idea of them actually going into the uh, alien stronghold but yeah so that's my first purchase i don't talk too much about this you've got loads of other stuff to mm, buy. So, mm, sorry. sorry artwork book design first purchase right second purchase and for the bargain price of 2.99 oh, yeah. three whole pounds shall we okay no or do you want to do that later do you know yeah let's do that yeah later so again i don't know why but i always kept these little banks so these are actually money boxes that's the punisher i've got quite a few of these as well so can you, you imagine yeah i know you see in my geek side but anyway so i bought that one punisher money box that's another one uh oh this one's gonna be yours actually you can talk through these ones <clears throat> okay so face masks um so i bought these face masks um i'm a harry potter fan if you didn't know so i've got some harry potter face masks and I got, uh, I'm also a Friends fan, so I got some Friends face masks Friends. as well. And you get two, and they were 9 I think? Yeah. So, um, two face masks, 9 um, so £20 basically for four face masks. Yeah, platform nine and three quarters, mm. and your Friends one, right. Yeah. What else have we got? Pivot! Pivot! <laughs> okay, I also bought a, um... Goonies pin, never say die. But what I'm gonna do? You're gonna is... open that one up. Yeah. Right. While Kelly's doing that, I'm gonna grab some of the other bits. There you go. Never say die pin. And as you can see, there's a little pin you can stick on to. So expect to see that on one of Kelly's coats very soon. That's right. Well, it's got back. Six ninety nine for that pin. <clears throat> so I collect um, pins uh, for the Harry Potter. Um, or from Harry Potter, and I have a little banner here. Here we are. A little Gryffindor banner. Now we didn't buy this one at, uh, at Forbidden Planet. No, I bought this in Florida, and I bought uh, m the majority of the pins um, in the states as well in Florida. And I normally love the pins that move or do something like. There's a little honey jukes one there that you can sort of move. And then there's the frog one there. With the chocolate frog in, which actually smells of chocolate. Yeah, actually smells of chocolate. And um, there's, they, they do, different ones do like with the little time turny here. Um, so they all do sort of like different things. Not all of them, but um, yeah, I really like them. So I bought another badge that I saw which was this one. Now let's see if I can get it in focus. As, okay, so that is the um, glasses that Luna Lovegood wears. So the new edition pin. Ta-da! Right and that's the new addition to my little Harry Potter Gryffindor banner. Okay. Many more to go on. Many, many more to go on. We both love uh, Back to the Future. We do. So I bought. So this is. This is the DeLorean Back to the Future number plate or license plate, I should say, and it's a bottle opener. Yeah. 
so I saw this and I thought this is such a cool thing to hang on the fridge and you know we always need bottle openers yeah we do we get through yeah. a lot as well a yeah. lot of them break for I don't know why on the fridge so we've got uh, quite a few there I mean we've got a little J2O there we are so um, this is help you to get into those yeah and so I just saw this and I loved it so I just thought right well let's get it so I did treat myself to a little t-shirt I've got hundreds of them but I thought I'd get another one and I couldn't resist one so I don't know if you can see that there but this is let me just get it to zoom Beetlejuice Beetlejuice uh, I won't say it a third time you know what happens but this is the Beetlejuice t-shirt so I thought I want to get myself one of these right in my size again on sale was 15 pounds now 10 pounds bargain that's going to go in the wash for me to wear later are again and last but not least this is the one thing Kelly was thinking I want this but you said oh it's expensive shall we get it and I said oh it is cool let's get it now you've seen it in the pin form you haven't seen it in this form here we go Ooh, I'll let you hold how cool is that <laughs> how cool is it oh my god so, I love it the chocolate frog cushion I couldn't believe you that was there it was the last one yeah it was the last one and I was umming and ahhing and then Mark said, you know what, let's just get it. And I was like, you sure? Because I know Kelly would have regretted not getting yeah, it. Do you, you know what? Won. I would have. I would have. I would have seen it and I just thought, why didn't I get it when I saw it? I don't understand. It's such a cool... It doesn't smell of chocolate though. No, I was just d double checking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, there you are. So it's actually the cushion with the chocolate frog on. And the chocolate Ooh. frog does separate. It's only joined by the little tag there. Um, now this was twenty six ninety nine. So it was quite pricey actually, but I think it does look good. It looks so good. It, uh, I don't even know where I'm going to put it. Uh, is that actually properly joined? I don't know. You can actually probably cut that off and detach it if you want. It, it does detach. Oh, yeah, it does detach. it does detach. Yeah. So the worry is it will. It will detach and get lost. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to look after that. Really happy with that. There it is. Chocolate frog cushion, as you can see. And if you take the frog off. It even says chocolate frog on it. There you are. Really cool. And I think... Yeah. That's it. That was the haul from Forbidden Planet. I thought I had more than that, but um, actually, fact, that did come to quite a bit. So I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, lie. I'm thinking, oh my God. Um, but I hope you like it. There was our purchases. Um, I hope you liked that video. We certainly enjoyed making it and we certainly enjoyed shopping it. Yeah. Um, that's it for Mark and Ted Kelly's trips, tips and things for another episode. We will see you again very soon. Look after yourselves. Please like, share and subscribe. And remember, you are never too old to have fun. Bye, Bye for now. now.